Hey right, guys, West Coast Reckon is back. Um, doing uh, this Kelsey Adam number one now. Uh, going to clean out his enclosure. It's going to go into an ICU for a bit until I can sterilize these containers properly. Uh, and I want to keep an eye on them. Uh, there is a possibility there could have been mites in there. That could be the issue. I'm going to look it up, see what I can find on the internet, um, put it on uh, arachna boards and whatnot, and see if anybody else can see that. I did take some pictures, so hopefully that will uh, give me some insight into what's going on with these guys. It seems to be just these two, but I did have that weird incident with that's still full of water with my brachypelma uh, number two where it had that uh, almost looked like the same thing when it molted um, it could have been a parasite underneath the skin um, but other people say that it's this one's really heavy it's got quite a bit of moisture in there um, kind of worried about that haven't seen this guy in a while but back to the brachypelma it a lot of people say that it's uh, it was probably just a, a piece of mold stuck to it afterwards. Oh, this is all dirty now. Magnifying glass. Sorry. To get, I can't get a look in there. Um, it's too far away. Magnifying glass. Sorry. Dropping everything. I gotta kind of get this video done. Um, in a bit of a hurry. So what I'm gonna do is, you know, I'm just gonna. I'll get all the substrate away. I don't want to go too far or too close to it because I know it does burrow a little bit into the middle. So, uh, I was going to be stupid and stick my hand in there. Be right back. I'm going to get something to dig out that dirt with. Okay. Um, rather than uh, make a huge mess, I'm going to actually put you on pause again. Okay. Going to make a huge mess. You guys probably wondering what the heck is going on. My whole world is moving. There's actually cricket eggs all throughout this. Which is not a good sign. I know I did find some baby crickets in here. Um, I doubt those will do any harm. There we go again. There's another mealworm. I think I'm going to stop feeding these guys mealworms because I can't get them once they're in there. Once they're in there, they're, they're kind of gone. That's it. You know, you can't find them again. Uh, you put them in. I try to put them in their web. You can see them take some of them, and you know how sometimes it's too small, so you'll give them a second one. Well, if they lose that inside their hide, then you're not going to see it, and you're not going to find it. So those little buggers can literally nip a little piece out of them. Just like a, a super worm will actually attack them if they're hungry. Uh, they'll, they will probably eat. I mean, one super worm could probably eat half of one of these S calci items, no problem. Oh, there looked like a piece of molt. It's gone now. Lost it. doing what I did the last in the last one. I'm actually gonna pull his hide now. Uh, not like not before I take a look through this. I want to see if I can see any mites. I'm gonna do this a lot quicker than I did the last one. Uh, 
sometimes you got to really watch I mean just sit there and watch one piece if you look if it looks like a mite and just see you know they do any little tiny white thing could be a mite especially in this dark part I mean it, it just looks uh, with the dark background of the soil it just it's it'll be white it'll look white anyway but they're kind of a brownish gray some of them can even be brown this will be difficult to see in here you know if you're not sure scoop one onto your fingernail get it on there just the white part and just roll your thumb other thumb over top of it like a crushing machine like you're gonna roll over it like a boulder and see if it pops you know you'll notice it'll be white or a wet sorry white there'll be a big wet patch on your thumbnail don't smear it around just kinda roll over it once and see if it pops and that way you know it's a, it was a live uh, a live thing right there I don't know if you can see this at all I mean it's not going to be dark on the camera I don't you can even see it but uh yes I can get it without dropping it I lost it. Anyway, there's little cricket eggs all throughout here. If it was warm enough, they would be hatching like crazy. Uh, last time before I cleaned this out, there was crickets in his water dish. There's none there now. Uh, which probably means there is none. It hasn't been warm enough. <clears throat> anyway, here goes nothing. This I'm not expecting to go well. Now I have his whole hide here and he's in there. Yeah. I want to leave that as is so I can see it. Now, inside here is an S calcium. One of the fastest little buggers, fastest potent uh, feather leg baboon is what it is, is an uh, African species. <sighs> I'm dreading this, I don't want to take it out. I'm not up to this, idea. I don't even have a catch cup here. Okay, guys. Let me know if it disappears, okay? Okay, I had to run upstairs, so hopefully it didn't get away. It was gone. I had to get a little catch cup. I want to keep this close. Uh, I wish I could see it. There it is. gonna come bolting out the other and there's a baby cricket so they're living in there maybe that's what happened in the other one as the baby crickets decided to have a little chew on them I don't know if they have any kind of anesthetics in their bite that numb it um, 
I'm not sure how, I mean tarantulas don't feel like we do. I can see the spider, so I'm going to open this away from it. There it is. You want to come out? I can just nudge him to come out there. Shoot. That's the last thing I wanted to happen is to have that. This one is a lot bigger than my other one. There we go. Okay. Temporary. I have to clean this out now. I got dirt in it. Crumb. Anyway, I wasn't expecting that one to be that much bigger. I mean, they both molted at the same time. They were the same size then. Um, squeaky scissors. I think I gotta stop putting them in that solution and just wash them when I need them. Because having them soak in there is rusting them out. Uh, now to clean those, if you want to get rid of that, you don't want to put oil on you know, your scissors or whatnot to clean them off. Just to, if you're going to use anything to, to lubricate it, uh, I would suggest just like a vegetable oil, anything like even extra virgin olive oil, just a corn oil, whatever, and that'll do well. It'll last as long as any other oil. It'll last longer than WD-40 or anything like that. So you don't want to spray that stuff on here because you're going to end up uh, with chemicals in there that will harm your tarantula or anything else, you know, because you are going to probably use it on things. Um, that one seemed pretty healthy, actually. I didn't see anything on it, but I mean, it was pretty quick, so I gotta take a better look when I get it in there. So what I'm gonna do, <coughs> is I'm gonna pause this real quick. Uh, I'm gonna snap a couple pictures of this. And, crumb, I never, I didn't get a picture of the other one. Which is fine, because this one's actually in better condition, so. I'll snap a picture of the inside of his layer, what it looks like opened up, so you can see. Uh, there's any dirt that's in there is from my hands from opening it up. Before that, there would have been no dirt in there, nothing. I mean, they're very clean. They they web everything up, so in a way that you know it's uh, their web is their safety net, and everything in there it kind of has an antiseptic on it, even. Um, that uh, it keeps it in there and it's very thick uh, not a lot's going to get through that I mean it's a very very fine screen so um, if something wanted in there it would have to something small like a mealworm or anything it would have to chew through that and get through the web plus it would have to do that without disturbing the spider in a way that it's going to eat it and it's going to have to do that in a way it's not going to get stuck in that web uh, and as you can see uh, by the dirt on there, it, it's very sticky on the outside, but the inside is not. So this is the, this is the problem. If one of these mealworms or whatnot or crickets get in there and actually move around, and the spider doesn't eat it or kill it, it could damage your spider. And that may have been what happened to the other. It could have been mites as well. You know, I, I you're not going to see them always. Um, Unless you go through this thing with a fine tooth comb, I mean, looking for a mite in this is like literally looking for a needle in a haystack. So, anyway, I'm gonna pause this, I'm gonna take a picture, I'm gonna clean this up, I'm gonna deal with the spider, take a couple pictures of the spider, and then we're gonna keep it in its uh, enclosure or in this ICU for a little bit while I get their enclosures cleaned out. But this one looks pretty healthy. Anyway, fingers crossed. Be right back. Okay, um, 
I've cleaned out his, his little uh, temporary enclosures ICU. Uh, what I'm doing now is just putting a piece of paper towel down on the bottom. This is basically, you want to give it a little spray, you know, moisten it down, keep the humidity up in there, and it also allows them to go down and drink from this. And you want to keep these in a lit area. You don't want to put them in the dark. Um, of course, a lower light is probably preferable for these uh, species because they're, they're gonna, it's gonna stress them out otherwise. Uh, but as long as you leave them alone, put them in a, in a lower light situation, but not dark. Um, I mean, of course, at nighttime you can turn the lights down, but you want to kind of put this in here like this. And I've got a little on the walls there, and I did that on purpose. I'm actually going to take a dry piece of towel and tamp down the, the bottom and get a little excess moisture out of there so it's not really stopping wet. It's just kind of wet to the touch, but you don't get a lot on your hands. And uh, keep the uh, walls with a little bit of spray on it. You're gonna do that every day. Miss the wall a little bit. You know, don't miss the whole thing. Uh, if the spider's over here, give it a little mist on this side. It will come over and get a drink if it's thirsty. Um, Otherwise, it can drink from the, the bottom. So make sure that this stays a little damp at all times. Uh, this, this is your basic ICU. And you should have a clean container ready um, basically at all times uh, with an ICU set up, you know, so that you can just put in the paper, that towel, and put your spider in there. Uh, if need be. Now, <laughs> wow, she's beautiful. This one is a lot bigger than the other one. Uh, and you probably can't see it really well. But this is good to two and a quarter, two and a half inches stretch out leg to leg, you know, the length of it. And it's kind of in a relaxed state right now, so if you stretch it out, you're gonna get about a quarter inch out of it. But I would say two and a quarter to be on the safe side. Um, anyway, minimum two inches, so, and that's putting it mildly. I'm gonna try and get a few pictures of it. Very hard to focus. Now I have to get this little monster in there. And the best way to do that is put this in here. Get the lid ready. Uh, you know, in this kind of situation, I don't have a lot to work with, so what I'm gonna do Let's take his brush, but I'm not going to use the brush end because it was in alcohol. Although it, I think the alcohol is pretty much dissipated, sorry. You probably can't see a lot, so what I'm going to do is just try and nudge it out into the container here and hopefully it doesn't get out. And then once it's out, they tend to want to just kind of go somewhere where they feel safe, which is usually up. So be ready because this thing's going to bolt right up. And before you know it, it's out, up your arm, and gone. But I need to get a picture of this guy. And it's actually in a good position. 
I'm trying to to check out and see if it's got any spots like the other one does. I don't I don't particularly see anything, but I haven't seen the underneath of this guy yet, so there she is. Give me a second here. Just gonna pause you and get the other one. Okay, no, I'm <laughs> I'm being very risky with this. Both of these are open. I don't expect the uh, the one that's kind of sick to be running, but you can see these are side by side. I can actually get a better view. Those are side by side. The one on the right is double the size of the other one, easily. So I'm assuming that is a female and the other one is a male. But you know what they say about assuming. Could be completely wrong. The one on the right could be just growing fast because it is a male. And a lot of times, that's what tends to happen. I thought my videotape was off. I had to check, make sure it was recording. But a lot of times that, she, she's going for a walk. No, thank you. I know you want to explore, but we're going to keep you locked down tight. Okay. Blue for the big one, green for the sick one. Green because he's feeling a little green today. Okay. Uh, now that I've got it up on here like this, I'm going to take a look. Underside looks really good. I don't think there's a problem with this one at all. Just looking at it through the microscope or the magnifying glass, sorry. I don't see any mites. Both of these look like their abdomens are getting kind of dark, so they may be in pre-molt. <clears throat> um, I don't know. Hopefully they are, and hopefully when this one molts, it's okay. Uh, I did have an issue uh, with one of my molts from Tarantula a few years back, Attila. That's in my channel. Um, it's in one of my playlists. If you look under Attila, you'll see it did die. Uh, after it molted, it took about three to six months. I can't remember exactly, but it, it died after that. Uh, I think just due to complications. Um, because when it came out of the mold, the pretend this is the abdomen, the whole underside of the abdomen uh, ripped open. Uh, and there was literally a hole uh, about the size of my pinky nail, about half the size of a penny. If you were to cut out the middle of the penny, you know, that's how big of the hole was, it was pretty big. And it actually healed up and it ate and it burrowed and made webs and all kinds of things after that. And just out of nowhere, I found it dead. And I have no explanation as to why. There was no mites in there, no problems, no nothing. I did get some fungus growth in there and I completely cleaned it out. Um, but, I'm pretty sure it lived quite a while after that, so I have no idea what what it died of, and I'm pretty sure it just died of complications. So, anyway, there's that. Um, I don't know if you heard that banging. My daughter's up uh, organizing her room. Um, she's heading out tonight, so about the evening alone. Uh, yeah, so we got one little sicky guy, and he seems to be doing well. I might try to feed them, and then one bigger one that seems okay. So I'm going to close this off, and we'll uh, we'll talk to you soon. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe.
I'm bye for now.